Decision 2008, Internet impact, the latest phenomenon, almost a million people logging on to YouTube in the past two days to watch the so-called Obama girl sing about her crush on Democratic Senator Barack Obama. I got a crush mm. on Obama and now I should note, Barack Obama's campaign says it had nothing to do with that video. And with me now for some good old entertaining fun here, the boys, MSNBC political analyst Pat Buchanan and Democratic strategist Peter Fenn. I guess my question to you, Pat, you know, do you think a, a video like this could have helped out your campaign, campaign a little bit? Yes, I mean, Obama you know, said he had nothing to do with this likely story. <laughs> I'm going to try have done it for they you. Could have, I could really have used some of that, you know? <laughs> A little too heavy with the pitchforks. You needed a little softer side there. <laughs> there you go. Well, something to think about for the future there, Pat. Of course, you know, the candidates, they like all the attention they can get. But is this really the kind of attention that Barack Obama wants? Is there any potential downside for him? I, well, my view is no. What it says is Obama is in, Obama is hip, Obama is young, he's fresh. I think it's, I, frankly, I think it's very positive for him. How about this, Peter? Given the popularity of this video, isn't there a possibility that it could become the ad that everyone identifies with Obama, and could that be dangerous to him? Well, I doubt that, Alex. Uh, I, I, do, uh, I do think that it is a, a momentary fun aspect, which is good for Obama. Uh, folks in my office, the young folks in my office, discovered it before it hit YouTube. They had me watching it in the office. I was a little embarrassed, but, you know, <laughs> and I had the same thought you did, Alex. I, I just wish that Pat had the uh, Mrs. Robinson if you had your group singing for him out there back when he was running who knows where he would have gone in the polls huge but. idea huh <laughs> hey there Pat um, we have some new details though this week about the Republican internet guide for senatorial right. candidates I mean this actually has the Democrats with, with an edge when it comes to using the web uh, mm -hmm. that's one thing why how big a, a disadvantage has that been for Republicans well the web is a very young it's a very young thing Thing. It's like uh, talk radio is more middle-aged and a little older. And there's, a, I mean, a lot of kids, frankly, are very oriented toward the liberal Democratic Party when they're young. And so I think that is, uh, that's kind of natural. But this is, it is really an important instrument politically. And, and Peter and I were talking about Ron Paul, you know, when then Rudy kind of body slammed him in South Carolina. But Ron Paul was speaking from the heart, his belief we shouldn't be involved in the Middle East. Tremendous reaction on the, on the web and, uh, and the Internet and the whole thing. Peter, I'm curious what you think is more powerful now. Is it the Internet or is it talk radio? I, I think it is the Internet, uh, the viral aspect of it. Uh, it goes to everybody. Anybody who's interested can go to it. Uh, talk radio is still very targeted. You've got your in influentials amongst the Republicans and, and in a lesser extent amongst some of the liberals and Democrats in talk radio. But, boy, the Internet is huge. And, look, uh, 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 Pat's point on, on Ron Paul is incredible. I mean, today's Washington Post has a front-page story about R R Ron's start of his campaign, had 10000 bucks when he announced. After that first incident, he raised $100,000. But more important, it's a way for people to get together to hook mm -hmm. up, to share uh, information about a candidate. Mm -hmm. It really gives some of the activists and the yeah. folks that really have mm -hmm. strong feelings a, right. a vehicle. You know, okay. we can multiply. We multiply what the web does. You know, that yeah. ad, you know, where's the fence? I mean, we ran that day about every single hour, and so these guys put this thing together, they put it mm -hmm. out there, and then we multiply it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, listen, if either of you ever run for office again, I'll be a Buchanan babe or a Finn Philly. How's that? Okay. <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> All okay. right, guys, thank you so much. See you next Saturday. Okay.